Hello everyone. Welcome to Shanta Lakshmi IS. In this video, let us discuss about a new legislation that is Criminal Procedure Identification Act 2022, which was in news recently. So why this act was in news? Because recently this Criminal Procedure Identification Bill has become has become an act that means it was passed by both the houses of the parliament and the president has given assent to this bill. So now the Criminal Procedure Identification Act has come into force and this particular act replaces the Colonial Era Identification of Prisoners Act 1920. So that's why this Criminal Procedure Identification Act 2022 is in news. And so before we go into the discussion of this Criminal Procedure Identification Act, what are the what are its features? Why what's the need of this such act? Now let us see what is the use of identification details in the criminal trials. So what's the use of this identification details in criminal trials? It trial it serves the main three benefits that is to establish the identity of the culprit against the person being arrested to establish the identity of the culprit and the second one is to identify suspected repetition of similar offenses by the same person and the third one is to establish a previous conviction so the identification details of criminal rights serve the three main purposes what are those it serves to establish the identity of the culprit and also to identify suspected repetition of similar offenses if done by the same person and also to establish a previous conviction. Mm -hmm. So these, these are the benefits of identification details in criminal trials. Mm -hmm. Now, so what was the previous colonial era law that is identification of prisoners after 1920? Here, even though the police have the powers of arrest, mere arrest does not give them the right to search a person. The police has the powers of arrest, but mere arrest does not give them the right to search a person. And the police required to search a person, the police requires the legal sanction to search the person and collect the evidence. And this legal sanction balances the right of individual as well as the collective interest of the society. So to balance the right of the individual and the collective interest of society, the legal sanction is required for the police to search a person and collect evidence. And in this context, the identification of prisoners act 1920 became a necessity when the recording of newer forms of evidence such as fingerprints, footprints and measurements started becoming more accurate and reliable. And there were increasing instant of prisoners refusing to allow their fingerprints or photographs to be recorded. Although there are laws to to, to gain the evidence such as fingerprints, footprints and measurements. But however, the, the prisoners are refusing to allow their fingerprints or photographs to be recorded. So in this context, to prevent such refusals in the future and to place the taking of measurements etc. which is a normal incident of police work, it was considered necessary to enact the Identification of Prisoners Act 1920. So that's why to prevent the refusal of giving the recordings, fingerprints or photo recordings of the criminals, the Identification of Prisoners Act 1920 was enacted. And now this, this particular Criminal Procedure Identification Act has been replaced this Identification of Prisoners Act 1920, right? Why? What's the need to replace the act and to enact a new law that is the new measurement techniques being introduced in advanced countries are giving reliable and credi creditable, credible results. So in many other advanced countries, the new measurement techniques are being used in criminal trials, which are giving credible and reliable results. So in order to cope up with the international and 
international measurements there is a need for this criminal procedure identification act 2022 and in india in 1980 the law commission of india has also noted the need to revise the act to bring in line with the modern trends in criminal investigation so in india the law commission 87th law commission has also suggested to bring the law and in 2003 the Malimath Committee recommended amending the Act, that is what the Act, Identification of Prisoners Act 1920, to empower the magistrate to authorize the collection of data such as blood samples for DNA, hair, saliva and semen, etc. So, what's the need? To stand in line with the advanced countries, international countries. And in 1980, the Law Commission has also recommended and in 2003, the Malimath Committee has also recommended to enact the law, giving the more powers to magistrate to authorize the collection of details of criminals. Moving forward. And now, what is this Criminal Procedure Identification Act 2022? And what's the objective of this act? Its main objective is to expand the scope and ambit of the measurements that have been that are going to be collected, which can be taken under provisions of law, which will help in unique identification of a person involved in any crime. And also, this will assist the investigation agencies in solving the criminal case very efficiently. So, what's the objective? To expand the scope and ambit of the measurements in order to assist, in order to help in unique identification of a person involved in any crime and also in assisting the investigation agencies in solving any criminal case very efficiently and expeditiously. So, this is the objective, main purpose of this Criminal Procedure Identification Act 2022. And now see some of its key features of this Act. So, first one is the Act expands the type of data that may be collected and expands the persons from whom such data may be collected and also the authority that may authorize such collection. So, the, so, this Criminal Procedure Identification Act expands the type of data along with the persons from whom such data may be collected and the authority which may authorize such collection. And second feature is that the retention of details. This act, this particular act requires the details collected to be retained in digital or electronic form for 75 years. See the number here? With this act, the details collected may be retained for 75 years, that too in digital or electronic form from the date of collection by the National Crime Records Bureau. So, who will store or retain this data? National Crime Records Bureau for how many years? For 75 years in electronic or digital form. And this particular data may be destroyed in certain conditions. What are those conditions? In case of persons who have not been previously convicted and who are released without trial, discharged or acquitted by the court after exhausting all legal remedies. So, for these persons, this data may be destroyed. And coming to the next feature, what is the next feature of this act? The resistance to giving details and in the as per this act, the resistant or refusal to give details will be considered as offence under this Indian Penal Code 1860. So now, if any person that is convicted or convicted, if the person refuses to give details, that also will be considered as offence under which act or which code? Indian Penal Code 1860. In case of such resistance or refusal, police officers or prison officer may collect details in the manner prescribed under rules made by the state government or state central government. If the person refuses to give the details, it will come under the offence under Indian Penal Code also, but that will not stop the police officers or prison officers from collecting the details. They still collect the details in the manner prescribed under the rules made by the state government or the central government. And it expanded the powers of the magistrate. That is, under this act, a magistrate may direct a person, see a, a person, any person to give details for the purpose of an investigation or proceeding under this criminal CRPC Code of Criminal Procedure. 
so if the magistrate direct any person the magistrate direct any person to give details for the purpose of an investigation he has to give the details under which code code of criminal procedure so here the powers of the magistrate has also expanded and he, and also the rule making power extended to the central government previously before the coming of this criminal procedure identification act only the state government has the rules to make laws on collecting details but in this act this act gave the power to central government also it extended the power to the central government that is the central government or state government may make rules on various matters like the manner of collecting details now both the central and state government can also make rules for collection of details so these are some of these are key features of this criminal procedure identification act what are the features it expands the ambit that is type of data persons and authority and the details may be retained for 75 years by the national crime records bureau in digital or electronic form and in some condition the data may be destroyed and if any person refuses to give the details it may be considered as offence under this indian penal code and still the police officers can collect the details under the rules made by the state or central government and it expanded the powers of the magistrate that is a magistrate may direct any person to give details for the purpose of investigation under this crpc and it expanded the rule making power to the central government also along with the state government so these are the features of this act and what is the significance of this act this act makes provision for the use of modern techniques to capture and record appropriate body measurement and this act helps investigation agencies in gathering sufficient legally admissible evidence and establish the crime of the accused person it also make the investigation more efficient how as it provides legal sanction for taking appropriate body measurements of persons who are required to give such measurements which will in turn increase the conviction rate so what are the benefits or significance of this act the use of modern techniques in identification of criminals and it helps in investigation agencies and also it makes the investigation more efficient and expedient along with increasing the conviction conviction rate moving forward and there are some issues regarding this and so what are the issues we'll deal with them now it violates the privacy how although the act seems technical only the legislative proposal undermines the right to privacy of not only persons convicted of crime but also every ordinary indian citizen it has provisions to collect samples even from protesters engaged in political protest we have discussed right it it gives the power of a magistrate to collect the samples from any person like ordinary person under this crp so this will violate the right to privacy and what's the second issue ambiguous provisions in this in this and the phrase biological samples is not described further hence it could involve bodily invasion such as drawing of blood and hair and collection of dna samples etc and the third issue is that violation of article 20 how it this act enables coercive drawing of samples and possibly involves the violation of article 20 clause 3 that is which protects the right against self incrimination and the issue is with regarding to the handling the data that is the records will be preserved for 75 years right and here the other concerns include the means by which the data collected will be preserved shared disseminated and destroyed so the data will be preserved for 75 years and the issue arises with here is that how the data is used preserved shared or disseminated so these are the some issues regarding this criminal procedure identification act 2022 what are the issues violation of privacy that is right to privacy it is a fundamental right and ambiguous provisions violation of article 20 it is also a fundamental right and the concern regarding the handling of data which was collected and now let us see the differences between both that is identification of prisoners act and the criminal procedure 
identification act how this act is different from this previous act regarding the provision that is person whose measurements can be taken in this identification of prisoners act the person should be convicted of an offense punishable with rigorous imprisonment of one year or upwards so if the person is convicted of punishable offense with a rigorous imprisonment of one year or upwards then only the measurements will be taken in this identification of prisoners act but in this act in this new law if convicted of an offense punishable under any law if a person is convicted of an offense punishable under any law then those persons details will be collected and the person should be arrested for an offense punishable with rigorous imprisonment of one year or upwards if arrested for an offense punishable under any law or if detained under prevention detain detention laws if any person is prevent detained under this preventive detention law then also that person's measurements is collected under this criminal procedure identification act and in this according to this identification of prisoners act if it is directed by the magistrate for measurements to be taken for the purpose of investigation of proceedings under the crpc provided the person has been arrested in connection with such investigation previously so in this identification of prisoners act the magistrate can direct if direct the person who has been arrested in connection with such investigation previously to take the collection but in this criminal procedure identification act if the if it is directed by the magistrate for measurements to be taken for the purpose of investigation of proceedings under the crpc or any other law in office in force and there is no requirement for the person to have been arrested in con in connection with such proceedings previously so in this act previously the magistrate will direct the person to collect the samples from whom if the person has been arrested in connection with such investigation previously but in this act there is no requirement that the person have been arrested the magistrate can order a order order the investigation officers to collect the samples from any ordinary citizen and in this according to this identification of prisoners act it the order to give security for his good behavior under this crpc so it is also same in this criminal procedure identification act and what measurements that can be taken according this is to this identification of prisoners act finger impressions foot impression measurements and photograph these four are only connected collected from the persons according to this previous act that is identification of prisoners act but according to this new act there are more more measurements that is it included the it expanded the ambit of the measurements that is finger impression palm print impression footprint impressions photograph iris and retina scan physical biological and the analysis behavioral attributes including signatures and handwriting on a, or any other examination referred to in section 53 53a of code of criminal procedures 1973 so in this criminal procedure identification act it expanded the measurements of the measurements that to have to be collected during the criminal investigation and regarding the destruction of measurements according to this identification of prisoners act in case of acquittal discharge or release if any if not previously convicted of any offense punishable with rigorous imprisonment of 1 year or upwards then that the records may be destroyed but in this case in case of acquittal discharge or release if not previously convicted of any offense punishable with rigorous imprisonment for any term and for convicts the records are to be destroyed from 75 years of collection so in this according to this criminal procedure identification act for the convicts the record the records the data has to be retained for 75 years then only after the 75 years only the data may be destructed so with this we'll end this session here if you like please like and share thank you